All right, we are live. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of prep for Uncharted Waters New Horizons for Pietro. Oh, one thing I forgot to do here. I forgot to share this to Facebook. Got shared to Twitter, but did not get shared to Facebook. I need to do that right now. Okay, we are shared on Facebook. We are now good to go. So, yeah. Glad to be here this morning. Uh, made some really good strides yesterday. Got a lot planned out and mapped out and worked out. And now I'm just currently in the process of finishing up here. So let's continue and let's keep going. Okay, if I recall correctly, I need to start by just exploring this village. Yeah, the goal is, and if I remember correctly, I need to get to the Amazon River, pick up the uh, Staff of Poseidon, drop it off at Massawa, and we should be good to go. All right, Mexican Bearded Lizard, very good. Yeah, I'm just going to go down and explore this part of the world. Another village, very good. Love this music. Yeah, we're doing really good. Yep. Very good. I wonder if we'll get those cultural, cultural artifacts pretty soon. Good, it's good for me. More money for me. Wow. I forgot about, I forgot about this discovery. I don't, I don't think it's a star. There's the cultural artifact. Ugh, okay. I really need to stop and pick up crew. There's a port on this side. I'll go stop and pick up crew. I can stop here and pick up crew, that's fine. It's a, this is a poor place, but that's okay. All right, get some hot cocoa. Yep, will do. I did, don't care. That's totally fine. It's just enough to keep us going. Very good. All right, supply. Fine, yeah, the only thing I really need to buy food for, I don't even have to do any trading in this scenario. It's great. Because the money you get from Discovery, if there's just one ship, you're good to go. Village. And there's Porto Velo. And there's Panama. Oops. Good. Stone ball. Another village. Man, I'm doing great on these villages. This is fantastic. Yeah, if I discover all of South America, Central America, I'll easily have enough to win the game. I think, anyway. I need terracotta figure. Very good. Yeah, so basically just finishing up down this area. 
Heading up, gotta go discover the Amazon River, because that's where this staff happens to be. There's Kello. Lindo. Now we're starting to get into familiar territory. Mm -hmm. And this is where we stopped off last time. To get the Moai statue after we got the Moai statue. Hey, good morning, Kai. Oh. This is the, when the wind dies down completely, this is the reason why you need oars on your sails. Because if you don't have, if you just have sails, uh, you're stuck. Basically, and you can't move until the wind picks up. Yes, good morning, Hyper Kaiju. Good to see you this morning. A fine day for exploration, indeed. Yep, we're gonna go check out the Amazon River today. Pick that up, and I should, after doing all this exploring, I should have enough to win the game. Reminds me of the sailing in Breath of Fire 4. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But this is, I mean, this is all like exploration and I mean it's it's just terrific. Okay, now here's where here's where I've got to get my map out here. Because I know it's around here somewhere. The, oh, the anaconda. My anaconda don't want... The, never mind. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, my crew can, can go, and I have a kick-ass crew. Okay, I believe it's around here... Yeah, it definitely does uh, remind me of the of the sailing. No, no doubt about it, dude. I haven't played Breath of Fire in a long, long time. I should probably check that game out again. It has been a it has been a long time since I played some Breath of Fire four. There we go. It's out of cannibal. Mata Mata! Village there. Yeah, 
the Amazon's great for villages. It's selling all this stuff. And the cultural artifact. The balsa ship. You can actually get a balsa ship. In the game, but not the one you can discover. It's kind of weird. Okay, so I know it's... Okay, maybe it's here? Monsters are kicking my ass. Fortunately, my ship can still go. Okay, I... Is this it here? I know there's no more monsters down here. I know that. I can tell you the problem with this run is going to be is if I don't immediately recognize or figure out where the um, where the um, villages are, that's going to be the only problem. We're gonna get some great. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have enough to win the game. There's no doubt about it. Another monster? Jeez Louise. Archipateryx. Okay. How the hell are we even able to move? We're fine. But Exotic animal. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've thought about that too, uh, Hyper Kaiju. Like, I've thought about just playing through some of my old games in the closet and just trying to. Kind of get those back out again. I think it'd be kind of fun. Okay. Well, I definitely need to go get crew. Okay, did I mess this up? I could have sworn that this was the Amazon River. Did I just confuse myself? So this is, uh, again, this is part of the problem here too. See, it looks like it should be moving like, oh, like right around here. See, I think this is it. I think this is it right here. I'm just gonna get my exact location. Oh, there it is, okay. This should be it. There it is. Awesome. Yeah, I was like, I knew that was the Amazon River. So there we go, Staff of Poseidon. How's my fame doing, by the way? 20 
5,000. Uh, I think you get 5,000 fame for... You know, I better stop and load up and get crew. You like our mate. I did, don't care. Totally fine. I'll get more in. I'll get more when I get back to London. I just need some so I can actually move. Very good. Now I can actually move with some vigor. By the way, I won't, I won't do this in the real run, but I'll show you the staff beside in there. Because I think you get 5,000 fame for. Yes. Will do. thought of something too. Where is Massimo? It's right there. Yeah, it'll be faster to go the other way. Well, now I'm wondering if I should... You know, why didn't I load up? I think you get 5,000 fame. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, oh, 85 days, I'm good. Yeah, I'll go explore all these real quick. I'm gonna save just in case. I'm gonna explore all these real quick, drop the stuff off, drop the staff off, and I should have enough to win the game. I'm okay doing this because it's... At 8 gold per sailor. <laughs> you should see in some of the bigger ports, it charges like 40 gold per sailor. It's annoying. Margarita! Can't actually get a margarita there, which is annoying. But Well, you probably could. But we can't stop and get a margarita. Maracaibo. There's a village down here. No. And when I'm playing this, I'll have my iPad handy. I'm just kind of doing this on memory right now. Um, when I'm doing this off my, I'll have my iPad handy so that I can remember everything. Hey, there's a ship. Don't care. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Let's check this out. I know there's a town over here. Veracruz, I believe, is over here. Yeah, Veracruz is a good port if you're a trader because its specialty is gold. Cultural artifact. Jade Mask. There's some really cool things you can find. You could go up there. I'm going to not, because I think I have enough to win the game. If I need to go up there, I will, but I don't think I need to. Discover all these ports, and then I'll head back. They're just here to invest. By the way, a quick way if you ever want to build up a port as Pietro, just invest in it once, because Pietro is 
loyal to Italy, and for some reason in this game, everybody hates Italy. Kind of weird. Move over here is Santo Domingo. Hey, good morning, illiterate sailor. Or illiterate so scholar. <laughs> illiterate sailor. Can you tell I'm in New Horizons mode? Uh, thanks for being here, and thank you for all of your help and all of your comments. I really appreciate it. You have been a huge help, my friend. But yeah, so we're just wrapping this up today. I'm about to drop off all my discoveries. We just got the staff of Poseidon. So we're going to drop off all my discoveries. There are six characters in this game, Hyper Kaiju. Uh, I believe there are, yeah, there are six characters in this game. And uh, each of them has a very different scenario. Good morning, Drawing with Jay. How are you? Good to see you this morning. Yeah, and I am going to try your alley trick, um, Illiterate Scholar, for sure. Probably not going to get to that till the summer. Uh, I'm going to, you know, when I'm done with my school year, I'll stream again. I'm going to do more serious runs of this back in, in, um, I'm going to do more serious runs of this in May. Okay. Let's drop off all these discoveries. I'm about to become a very rich man. Let's see how many new discoveries I've got. I got to have like, like five pages of them. Yeah, I'm about to become incredibly rich. And my fame is about to go through the roof. That's cool, man. Yeah, this is my this is my absolute favorite game. Well, it's one of my favorite games of all time. The game I cer certainly have the most experience with playing. I played this game more than any other game in my life. There's the Great Wall. I, my favorite game of all time is still Final Fantasy VII, with a close second being The Last of Us. A third, well, I go back and forth between The Last of Us Part Two and The Last of Us. Uh, then this is probably number three or four on that list. Well, it's hard to say too because you got Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy VI. New Horizons is up there though. I thought about doing a Let's Play of Final Fantasy IX. I don't know if any of y'all would be the new version that just came or the remastered version that came out. Uh, on the PS4 Virtual Concert console. Don't know if any of y'all would be interested in that, but I love that game. But I have so many games I want to Let's Play. Um, I'm actually working on a Let's Play right now. Kind of behind the scenes, and once it's all done, I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to reveal it to the world. Yes, we discovered this monster that tried to kill me! Oy. Part of this too is knowing when you take a chance to go win the game. If I can quickly discover this. My favorite Dragon Quest is four. Um, Fire Emblem. You know, Illiterate Skull, I've never played Fire Emblem, if I'm being honest, which is kind of crazy. I know, I've never played Fire Emblem. 
Borobudur. I got all this money. Now I have all this money that I have no idea what to do with. I wish you could get an advance on this money to help, to help me get to the first part of the game. There's the Hardy Durian, like in Breath of the Wild. There we go. Let's see how we're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am very easily... Oh, cool. Awesome. Did you like it, Hyper Kaiju? That's good to know. 58 days, very good. Oh yeah, I am easily gonna have enough fame now to win the game. Once I drop this off and drop off the staff beside, yeah, I easily have enough fame to win the game. Yeah, for sure. And the, the, uh, the, sis the, the, I always thought that the system in that game was cool, like the, the chapters, I always thought that was very creative, kind of revolutionary for its time. Tetra Master, oh boy. You know, I just, I remember, I remember being so pissed off. Okay. How am I going to get this last fame? Okay, so you do need all this fame to win the game. To know. Stop it. All right. And this person's still been hanging out. I wonder who this is. I'm just curious. Boy, that, that sucks for that guy. They can't even figure out how to make it around. Oof. The DS Master is cool. Re Remaster is cool. It fixes a lot of the issues that were in the original game. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. I have a Let's Play of that, as a matter of fact. So feel free to check that out. All right, let's go drop off the staff. Hopefully, I'll have enough to win the game. Because I think you get 5,000 fame for dropping off the staff. I think. Yes, I know. Oh, I only have one bomb left. Oh, dear. Now I'm going to have to save. I can pick up some bomb in um, India. some balm in India. I can't remember which port it is, but I know you can pick up some balm in India. And, that's, and it's just a quick... Staff. But yeah, you can definitely check out my Let's Play of the remaster version. I LP'd both Dragon Quest IV and the remaster. Near the end of the remaster, you have to fight these two idiots like seven times to get some of the best equipment in the game.
It's actually kind of funny. But yeah, you do have to fight these two morons. Masawa. All right, very good. Oh, nice neutral too. <laughs> okay, I believe you can go straight to the palace. Yep. Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't illiterate scholar. Okay, so mass well, you have to go to the cafe. Awesome. There you go. Empty eyes. No, I'll check that out. Yeah, only 18 minutes. That's fine. I just want to max out our crew here. Good. Now we can actually move and do something. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I thought you got 5,000 fame. Now I gotta figure out. Yeah, it's, I've been LPing for about 12 years. So it's been fun. Okay, well I can go up here. I know I can discover some things up here. Now I can't remember if to trigger this next part you have to have 40,000 fame or you've gotta go to Europe. I cannot quite remember. Or if you can just go to any port, I can't remember. Or if you have to have 40,000 fame. What have I not done yet? I mean, I guess I can... So this is where it gets tricky. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I, got, I definitely have to go to Goa pick up some balm and come up with a plan. So it looks like I do need to get 40,000 fame. So I guess what I can do is go do a loop around Japan. That should give me enough. If I do a loop around Japan, that should give me enough. this. Uh oh. Ooh. 
overcome with terror. Well, I don't like that. This music is really cool too. Yeah, what I'll probably have to do is take a loop around Japan and go back up that other way. That should give me the 40,000. I wonder if I should just... Yeah, I think that's probably going to be my best bet is to loop around Japan. Go back the other way. And that should give me my 50,000 fame. 40,000 fame. And then I can win the game. I thought that gave you 5,000, so... I guess what I'll have to do is just depend, it'll just depend on uh, where everything lines up in the game. As far as where all the stuff goes is how you gotta map it out. But I guess you gotta discover every, what discoveries have I got so far? Oops. Eight, yeah, I mean, I've almost, I've found almost all of them that have spawned for this game. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the best way to go. Oh, there's a village. Nice, how'd I miss that one? Appreciate everybody checking out the stream this morning. There we go. Ah, Anchor Wat. Ah, yes. Big place in uh, uh, Secret of Mana. Or, yeah, no. Secret of Mana. No. Uh, 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 Illusion of Gaia. Which is another great game. Love that game. Yeah, I think the, my best bet's gonna be to loop around Japan. Should give me my fame, which means I don't. I, I hope you don't have to do that as part of the. Because that's just gonna be figuring out how to get a world map going. some of my strategies here because oh. right now I'm I have played Terranigma yes really like that game that is a very fun game Terranigma I'd recommend that one as well I do love me some Terranigma. Okay, I don't believe there's any... Let me pull up my map here. I don't believe there's any...
I, I always have to check my map up here because I can. Because I don't sail around this part of the world often. I will say for some folks, this game can be kind of boring. If you don't like exploration and, and all that stuff, this game can be kind of boring, and I certainly understand that. There's a supply port. Corf! Hell of a name. villages up here. It's around here, I think. Yep. So what I think I'm going to have to do is... There we go. And... Oh, the Stellar Sea Cow. Oh, yes. Yep, sure did, uh, Hyper Kaiju. That was fun. Well, with Seventh Saga, it's like that game is so... All the grinding you have to do in that game is so annoying. I'm like, I'm going to try to do this without a partner. Otherwise, you basically would spend twice as long to do that. And with Wilm, Wilm's the only character that you have a shot at beating that game with. Uh, without a partner. There's nothing down any of these rivers, so you don't have to worry about that. didn't know about until I started running this game. Yeah, and honestly, Hyper Kaiju, I would suggest don't beat that game because the story at the very end, and you can watch my LP about it, the story at the end sucks. And it's really bad and it's really frustrating. Seventh Saga is a bit broken, no doubt about it. Um, I don't know why this is such a good discovery up here.
Here we go. Natural wonder. I wonder if this is Aurora Borealis. Yep. That's cool. The, I think the game mechanics in that game are a bit broken, there's no doubt about it. The only shot you have at beating that game with any sort of... Ooh. I'm taking a chance, I'll be alright, I'll be alright, I'll be alright. Uh, yeah, uh, to me, the only chance you have of beating that game with any level of sanity is to do it with one character and to do it with Wilm. Because, because of his agility. And you get B agilities. You get a ton of B agilities and you're good to go. But yeah, I can see how for some people this game is a little boring because it is just a lot of exploration and chilling and stuff, but... Again, I, I, I absolutely love this game. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'm doing okay. If I can get this 40,000, I can quickly go win the game. Narvik. And we're starting to get into those. Nordic ports. Come back down here. Bergen, yeah. Which you don't get fame for. Hamburg, don't care. Oh, really? That's cool. I've never played New Horizons mobile. Okay, oh, now. Nah. Okay, this will easily be enough. Okay, that'll easily be enough. Yep, there's 40,000. Okay, that should be enough to win the game. There we go. Yeah, as soon as you get 40,000, you run into a harbor, okay. There we go. Okay, great. Zipangu. And there it is. Okay, I don't even need to turn in these discoveries that I found. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. And then we'll go finish up the game. Be right back.
Okay, back and ready to go. Well, let's do it. Okay, so my next stop, my next split will be Ali Vezas. And now heading off to, well, actually, now I wonder if it would be faster from here. Which way is faster? Probably gonna be faster to go this way to get to Japan now that I think about it. Some up here. Might as well go back the way we came. Okay, so I don't need to get the Great Auk. Hey, uh, Keldian, thank you so much for the follow. Oh. Oh, interesting, a ghost ship. Yes, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I don't use Twitch that often, but I do occasionally. It's mostly when I'm doing, I mean, YouTube is my primary source of streaming and producing video game content, but. Alley has another split. Yeah, we're just my guy's motoring right now. This is great. <laughs> and by the way, Scholar, yes, my flip phone is awesome. It's hilarious. All right. I assume this way, I would think this way would be faster to get to Japan than having to go down and around. It seems faster anyway. So basically it's Japan, Cayenne, home. path to win the game. So I think it'll be, next split will be Nagasaki, uh, find Raul Franco, and then head home. Oops. 
Oh, there we go. No problem. I got my balm. I wonder if it might be a good idea to buy like 15 balms or something like that. Uh, might be a good idea to buy like 15 balms or something like that to just start the game and then well, you only have to do it once. I guess it just depends on your money situation. Alright, and up to Nagasaki. I believe to trigger this, you go in the harbor. True. Okay, take a look around. I just thought of something. Visit the other one. Yeah, I wonder if that'd be my guess. Is if you go, you have to go visit the other one. And up here. Because this one, I don't quite remember what the trigger is. Yeah, okay, you just have to visit both harbors, I think. We are indeed. Ah, excellent. Hmm, that's true. This, by the way, is the only time that you visit Ernst. Oh. Got it. Might as well go check it out. Okay, I want to see if that's the trigger. If you don't have to visit, if you can just, if you just have to go to the harbors. Cause like I didn't go in the cafe there. I think it's just Harbor Harbor, I think. I just wanna make sure that I think I know, I think that's the trigger. Okay, so it's just Harbor Harbor. Okay. Let me just write that down here. Zipangu Nagasaki Sakai Harbors. Sorry, I was just making some notes there. Right. That's true. Might as well go take a look. And we're going to need all the food and water we can get. Trust me. And let's go. Here we go. And the fastest way I could think to get there is just go straight down. And just chill for a while.
So I'll basically just hang out here for a while. Basically they're saying, go to the other side of the world. Plus you have to do in a lot of these quests is you go from Japan to South America. It's kind of annoying. As far as I can tell, this is the most direct route. Try something here. Just go all the way down. So I see some semblance of land, and then just shoot right over. You basically have to cross at the lower part of South America anyway. Just sail and enjoy the music. Indeed. Good call, Hudson. This music is great. We go. We're doing good. Now I believe now we have to go over to Cayenne, and I believe that's the trigger port. Oh, that's a good point, hun. Yeah. I guess now we'll read some donations. I have a feeling that a lot of people are not going to want to see Uncharted Waters New Horizons. But that's just me. I would love to see it. I'm all about it. Okay, let's just save. Because I believe this is the trigger point. Yeah, okay, there it is. Yep. Oh, that's not good. Yo, dude, you alright? Sure. Raul Franco? See. Uh huh. Right. Ah, he found El Dorado. Wow. Uh huh. Oh, great. The medallion, oh wow. Found, just I thought it was what I found, okay. But I found what the pirates that attacked, oh I see. Wow, indeed. Uh huh. Wow. That's not good. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Very cool. Oh, Lisbon, we can... Rocco! Uh-huh. 
Wow. And of course. Wow. Of course. That's cool. That's alright. Perfect. Look at this Pietro. Alright, let's get back to Lisbon. Very good. He joins the team and let's go. Yeah, uh huh. He's making up stories now. And up this way, and let's go home. Uh, Raul Franco. And then time. Very good. Okay. Hi, Bear. How you doing this morning? directly northeast and you find it. Oops. Stop it. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. There's time. I definitely think I can beat this game in under three hours. Indeed. Shoot. Great. Uh, sure. Very good. Raul! There it is. Ooh, Leon! <laughs> awesome. There it is. And time. That'd be time right there. There it is. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. I, I, I definitely think I can beat this game in under three hours. I, man. Because like I was thinking about this, I streamed for two hours yesterday... And about an hour today, I think I can beat this game in under three hours. I, hmm, tempted to give it a shot. What do y'all think? Indeed. I'm tempted to give this a shot. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Okay, and we got a bunch of people watching. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a shot. Let me uh, take a second here to uh, get some split set up. I'm just getting some split set up here. A 
It's awesome. Let's see if there's a Raul Franco. Yeah, what do you think about it? Uh, what do you think about? I might attempt it now. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Well, give me a second to get some split set up and uh, make some, I might make some edits here and I may do a run right now. We'll see. Give me just a second to get all my split set up and I will be right back. Grab another drink and grab some coffee, grab some water. I'll be right back.
Okay. Uh, let me... I think I'm ready to go. I think I'm gonna do a run. Let's see what happens. I think I'm ready to do this. Feeling pretty good. I think I'm ready to do a run. So are we ready? Let's do it. And three, two, one, go. More time. We just need more time. Don't have money with me. Uh oh. Harbor will give him shelter. Oh shit! You know what? Hold on. I screwed this up. Just a minute. Stop. I just realized I screwed this up. Hold on. Yeah, 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 I forgot to record. Uh huh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, hold on. End game. Yes, let's quit the game now. Okay, I forgot to hit record. Okay, hold on just a minute. See, hold on. Okay, let's see. All right, we'll try this again. Because I forgot to hit my my local record button on my computer there. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry about that. My bad. Do not need to give a new name, and we're ready to go. Okay, let's do it. And three, two, one, go. Here we go. Yeah, I forgot to hit record on my local computer so that I can have my own little archive footage. Should this be a world record, I can upload it. Thanks, Hyper Kaiju. Hoping to get, if I can get a sub three, that'd be amazing. I don't know if I can, but we're gonna try. Yeah, so now you don't have any money. Harbor will give him shelter. Yeah, we're gonna give it a go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Indeed. Awesome. All right, very good. Let's head over to the cafe. Camillo? Indeed. Wow. 
Awesome. Great. Two wild and crazy guys. Wow. There's always a catch. Okay. Falcon sounds good. And straight for Lisbon. Could use the auto sail command, but nah, I'm good. All right, let's get out of here. Because unfortunately, I don't have any money. Yeah, well, I haven't even had a chance to leave yet, you dumbass. All right, let's go. The only time I'll use this crappy ship for the well, sorry, there'll be one other time while I'll use this crappy ship. Ooh, so slowly. Suta. Now up this way to Lisbon. Good. And I'll go see the Duchess. Sir Camillo. Very good. I love it how he's just like, he's just like, I'm just going to be like, you know, I don't give a damn if you're royalty. Don't mess with me. I love that. Wow, some spoiled rich kid. Oh, that's easy. Cool 5K. Great. off to the docks. Ciao! All right. <laughs> How would we know? <laughs> the Nile River, indeed. Right. Well, we're going to do not that. Very good. And now we're off and going. Let's go pick up a light galley. And then we'll go searching for... And we'll just go searching for um, the discoveries. Use ship, give me my used light galley. Thank you. I will buy this one. Nope. Give me 1200. I'll call it A. Okay, let's remodel. Load capacity. I'm A. Ten bunks, no guns. Okay, now. We do actually want to transfer crew. Good. We'll leave ten men a new home. Give ten men a new home. Hope you enjoy it. Fifty. And we're good. Not gonna worry about transferring rations. Just not worth it. Yep. 
Yep. Very good. Cost us 140 gold to get a new ship. And a better ship. All right. Now we supply. And let's go. Let's do it. Uh, I, forgot, oh, I forgot to do rations. It doesn't really matter, but... All right, and now directly north. I'm gonna go look for the Great Auk. Actually, no, I don't need to. Well, yeah, I better go look for the Great Auk, because you have to... Unfortunately, we have to see if it's there, because I need two out of these three. Otherwise, I can't do the run. I was doing that in my trial run. Okay, let's see if oh. Well, Hecla, I mean, that's not bad. Take it. Really, what I'm looking for is the Great Auk. Sometimes it spawns right up here. And it didn't. Okay, no problem. Yes, indeed. Tap the like button, tap the subscribe button. Feel free to tap the donation button or check out those promo codes. All of those would be acceptable actions. <laughs> Gotta say that, you know. Once you get things going in this game, it becomes very easy. Okay, these ships I don't care about. Right? Yeah, I agree, illiterate. I, if you try to, man, well, it's not really manipulating, but if you try to control as much of the RNG as you can, then you're okay. And if you know, just have a general knowledge of the game, it helps. Now, the good thing is, is if I can get two out of three of these discoveries, I can do a run. Let's see where the tiger spawns. There it is. Good. Okay, now I need to entertain all the way to 65. Five, and now we get attacked. Yes, I know. Okay, now we plunder. Hopefully they don't counterattack. Great. Yep. And let's go. I probably should have signed my crew. Uh... No, uh, we'll do, let's do 80. But I need just a little bit of lookout. There we go. I'll go check for the mammoth. And then I'm gonna give it a shot. I might still be able to run it. We'll see. You know what, I think I can, I think I can. If I can just get a 
if I can get a deal on a La Real, sell a little bit, I'll be okay. Okay, let's check the Mammoth. Oh wait, no, it wasn't up here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Mammoth is up here. Nope, okay. All right, no problem. I think I can still make this work. I'll just have to be a little bit smart about how I get my ships going, but I should be okay. I should be okay. No, we're doing good. We're doing good. I know. Almost home. Perfect. There we go. Discovery. I've discovered the saber-toothed tiger. Already, I'm the world's greatest adventurer, and I've been doing this for about 14 minutes. Fine. All right. Now let's go get La Real. There should be one here. Hopefully. Nope. Oh, there was a, there would have been a light galley there. I wonder if it's worth it to check that shop. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. And let's go. Gotta go pick up cartography. Balm. And look for a La Real. Photography. Learn skills. Oh, shit. You know what? I forgot to... Damn it, damn it, damn it. I screwed this up. I forgot to go get the map first. I forgot to get the map first. 
is you get the map first, then you come up here to get the coordinates. Uh, there's even a light galley here. Okay. Yeah, I will. I'll definitely be stocking up on bombs. Don't worry. Well, I might not even matter. The run might be dead if I can't pick up a La Real anyway, so... I need to go get the coordinates. I forgot to go get the coordinates first. Because the coordinates you have to get in a map outside of Europe. I think. Oh, we'll go check it. Because if, if there isn't a lot of rail here, then the run's dead anyway. I think you have to be outside of Europe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, well, you know what? I think if there isn't a lot of real here, the run's dead anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the run's dead. Um, okay. You know what? I'm going to give this another shot tomorrow. And yeah, I completely forgot to to um, yeah, I completely forgot to do that. But okay, you know what? We're gonna try this again. Well, we have a lot of people watching. Is the, is the thing? I'd love to. Well, let me just check in with the with the misses. Actually, now that I know that I can probably beat this game in under three hours. Uh, well, now that I know the run's dead. Yeah, you know, again, that's that's that whole that all that RNG. RNG killing me again. Oh, actually, actually, oops, stop that, because, stop recording. I just do want to make sure that I can, can get the gold, I think you only need a thousand fame to get the gold medallion. Let me go check that real quick. Down in Madeira. Oops. I really think you only need a thousand fame to get the... There's only a thousand pin you need. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Reset.
Okay, sorry, I just had to make a note. You know, I am gonna try this one more time. I have some time, today is a good day to do it. I'm gonna try this one more time. And if I don't get it on this one, then I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll call it a day. All right, and let's record. Record there, okay, very good. Yeah, I just, I wanna try this one more time. I, I'm feeling good, I feel like I can actually get it now that I've made a couple of notes, and let's try it one more time. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Yeah, Camilla needs to give us an answer pretty soon. I'm just gonna move the chat over here so that I can actually see you all. Cafe, we'll see Camilo. Camilo, am I saying that right? Wow, that was cold. Okay, great. Two wild and crazy guys. always a catch. Okay, sounds good. The Falcon. Beautiful. I'll head straight for Lisbon. We are not going to use the auto sail command because that's annoying. Yeah, do one more run and then if it doesn't work, like I said, we'll shut it down for the day. Yes, I'm gonna go. I didn't even have a chance to leave, dumbass. Well, let's go. Normally, I wouldn't mind using the auto sail command, but this will save just a little bit of time. I used it to get to Seville in Otto's Quest. I can't remember why I used it at that time. Okay, very good. I'll go see the Duchess, get my money. Then I'll check and see if there's a light galley here. Because if there's, some, there was, if there's a light galley here and a La Real here, that'd be perfect. All right, very good. Bam that B button. Thank you very much, Hyper Kaiju. I hope the winds of the winds of fortune does do in fact. Wow. Dang. I love how just blunt he is. I think that's pretty good. Wow. Got it. Great. Woohoo! Yep. Yes, we, we, we understand. Oh, since everything's settled, we'll be off to the docks. Ciao! All right. Let's see if there's any ships here worth getting. Light galleys here, that'd be great. Oh, they have one here. Perfect. Great. Oh. 
This will save a little time, which is nice. All right, it's years. Call it A. It's one less trip to Madeira, which I like. Model capacity. Oops, nope. Damn it. Go. Yep. Ten bunks. No guns. Okay, let's transfer crew. Give these folk. Actually, take that there. There we go. Give everybody a new home. You'll love Lisbon. It's beautiful. Rejuvenation. Spring. Rejuvenation. All that crap. And rations. 100 and 90. Okay, very good. And normal cell. Falcon. Yep. Very good. Awesome. Sure. Hey, that's one less thing we have to worry about. That's good. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> I love that. That's great. The Nile River is always a good start, but we're not going to actually do that. No. And let's supply. Very good. And let's go. Now let's head out. Look for both the Great Auk and one of the star level discoveries. If I can get both of those, terrific. If I if only get as long as I get one of the star level discoveries, I can make it work. What the? There's a phosphorescent light here too? Wow, I've never seen a phosphorescent light here before. Huh, how about that? Hmm, well, that's cool. I've never seen that there before. Well, you learn something new every day there, BCS Universe. By the way, that's for those of you that have not seen me before, that's what I call folks that have joined and subscribed to the channel is the BCS universe. Oh, there's the great Auk. Great. Ah, see what I did there? A little pun there. The great Auk. to get for this one. <laughs> the mediocre rock. <laughs> oh my god, that I've never thought about that. That is freaking hilarious. Illiterate scholar, I love that. You know, I need to stop it for real. That is hilarious. I need to stop here to make sure I can entertain the villagers. That is great. 12 years of playing this game and I never even thought about the mediocre rock. I don't know why I think that's so funny, but I do.
All right, go get Saber Tooth Tiger. Hopefully, it will spawn. I could put this music on in the background of just like if I'm studying or just reading or something. This would be great, just calm music. I will tell you the best calm music I've ever found though, or experienced was Breath of the Wild. That calm music is incredible. Okay, go Super Two Tiger. No problem. Again, if you get two out of the three, well even as long as you get one of the star level discoveries, you're okay. Because what this just means is there's another star level discovery out there somewhere. Because I think the game spawns... I think the game spawns a certain level of star, number, star level discoveries, I think. Yep, there's the mammoth. Good. All the way up to 65. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Monster, fine. Mammoth, plunder. Thirty. That should that should be enough to get us back. Okay. Um, I need to pause for just a second here. I got a phone call I need to take. So let me take that phone call real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, fiance called, and I have learned when the fiance calls, you make sure that everything is good because, and she's not feeling well either. So, happy wife, happy life is what they say. So, okay, let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, did I? I'm trying to remember if I got everything. I think I got everything. Yeah, okay, great, okay. I think we're good to go. Yeah, okay, great, yeah. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, I should probably reassign my crew. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. Yes, when the fiance calls, She's like, yeah, and she hasn't been feeling well, so. All good. Lost a little bit of time there because I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. Not worried. If I can get a La Real, the run is on. have rats it's fine Great discovered the gray dock and, and the mammoth. All right, great. Thank you. Okay, let's check and see if a La Real spawned. I don't think it should. Category percentage run. What do you What do you mean, um, Hotson? Okay, now I'm gonna go pick up the map. Uh, 
Ah, the gold medallion, yes. Sure. Take 2,000 gold. Uh-huh. Got it. Oh, I see. True. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, what did I just apply? I was dumb. Oh, well. All right, let's go make our runs here. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. I am totally 1000% doing that. That is freaking hilarious. Okay. Now we save our game here. So I can get my coordinates. Locate. Fine. 10 South, 85 West. Okay, great. I, didn't, I forgot to even look at the map. I might not even... By the way, it's just... I'm totally doing that, by the way. Uh, illiterate scholar. 10 South, 85 West. That's what he said, wasn't it? Five South, 85 West. What? Oh. It's just that general area. Okay, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I should probably have a look at the map and see if I know where it is. Sounds like that's South America. Oops, forgot to sign a contract. God dang it. I am sucking today. Yep. My head is just not in the game. All right, let's go to the shipyard. La Real. Nope. All right, we'll check Bordeaux. Then we'll check a couple other places, and if there's no La Real, then unfortunately I think I need to end the run. Come on, 
Mariel. Nope. Damn. Okay. Check one more place. Bombs. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like ten. Two. Cause that way I only have to do it once. Three. Four. I think I might know, now that I've taken a second, I think I know, I might know where that uh, item is. Nine. I just move eight or nine, but either way. Okay, that's enough. All right, let's go. All right, let's go look for a La Real. I think I have one other spot I can check. head up to Nantes and see if there's one up there. Really? Is that really, is that right, Hudson? I must check that out. That's kind of cool. I'll go check that out. I mean, I can try to do it on a light galley. The, now, see that you gotta have a La Real though, so that you can, uh, so that you can, um, know, where else can I look? Uh, I can try, try Les uh, London. Because you gotta have a La Real because You have to have a La Real. Really? Huh, let me have to check that out. Try Seville too. <sighs> I'm just not having any luck with these ships. I'll check Seville. Sometimes you get lucky and there's one in Seville. This is just taking way too much time. I, I think I may have to call this a run because it's just no good. Pirates! Because I'm losing about five minutes. Looking for this damn La Real. I've seen one here before. We'll see. There it is. Okay, sweet. Yes. 
sure. All right, cool. I, I think we can actually get it going. I won't. Yep. And 40 bunks, no guns. Onward, indeed. Oh. Treat. Ten. I am. Don't care. Perfect. Okay, now sign crew. I shall just make Camille my first mate. So he can watch things for me. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, looks like we can actually do this. So let's roll. Woo, running low on money. But that's okay. And I... Okay, I think I know where this uh, port is. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight this way. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Uh, that interactive map. That sounds really intriguing. I might have to just go straight there. Make sure that I have enough money. To go looking for the staff beside them. Because really I can I can get some of these villages again. There's some villages around here. Oh, did they really? Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll be the judge. I, I consider myself a pretty big authority on uncharted waters. Not because I'm like a genius or anything like that. I just played this game a lot. Savannah. I know there's some stuff up here. Potentially. And I need to explore it because I need money, unfortunately. Uh, I bet one spawns up here. There it is. It's a little out of the way, but that's okay. Yeah, Hudson, we know what we're doing about this game. Uh, 
And the villaging begins. Oh, that's not correct at all. That's like not even close. Okay, I'll check it out. Hmm. That's, yeah, I, I definitely know that's not right. Natural wonder. Ah, Niagara Falls. Very good. It's a good one. Now we're already kicking ass in these discoveries. This is great. Okay, they said 10 South, 85 West. Which I think is on the other side. When I get to South America, I'll check. Here. Probably a dock pretty soon. That's right. Y'all know what's up. Man, got a lot of villages here. They must all be in. There's a village. Okay, great. It sounds like Western Panama. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I'm thinking it's on the other side of South America. Which would be fine, actually. And unfortunately, I'm not able to make a Trek of the World map at that point. Which is fine. You, you, some of the things, like in this run, you're, the, the, your order is going to be slightly out of order. Let me check my sextant here. This is one of the times a sextant is actually useful. Six north, eighty-six west. Yeah, I think it's I think it's just on the other side there. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. And that's fine. These are pirates. Maracaibo. We'll see what my money situation is. There's no village down in Maracaibo, I don't think. Caracas. Yeah, all these ports are here. Margarita. We're gonna make a stop here. Yeah, I have to write them down, otherwise I forget what they are as well. Okay, let's check out the money situation. <laughs> Money is looking bleak. Unfortunately, I might have to make two runs out of this. I really don't want to do that, but... Either that, or I just go straight for... That's what I might have to do, is, and just skip the Amazon for now. That's what I might have to do, is just skip the Amazon for now. I wish I could explore it, but I just don't know if I have enough money. I might have to bring glass beads. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the Amazon for now, because I can just, I can come get it real quick at any, at any time. Yeah, me too, illiterate scholar. I absolutely did. And just kind of about the world and stuff like that. What I might have to do is purchase glass beads. Oh, 
hopefully it'll send me to the Amazon. Rio de Janeiro. Listen, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to circumvent the globe at some point, and I'll catch the Amazon when I do. A bit, it's it's fine. Like I'll get to it at some point. Like I will be back in this area. It's just doing it slightly out of order, which you have to do based upon again. There's that RNG again. Okay, and I'm gonna take these ones because there's a star level discovery up here, potentially. giant ground sloth. And if the star level discovery spawns, uh, it'll attack me and I'll lose crew, which will allow me to sail longer. Cultural artifact, very good. Clay monster, very good. And, I mean, you get credit for discovering world maps, so you get fame anyway. Like I said, you're just, you're just doing some of these things at different times. Let's see if the giant ground sloth spawns. There it is. I believe this is the giant ground sloth. Oh, I've never played that. Yeah, I really think this is the giant ground sloth. It was either this one or the other one. I can't... Oh, no. No, this wasn't. The giant ground sloth didn't spawn. It was up the other... It was up the other one. Okay, no problem. No problem. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. As long as I go get that discovery and then head right back, I should be okay. I've never played uh, either of those games, actually. I'll resupply at the supply port on the other side. Yeah, there's the Dodo, there's the Moai, Komodo Dragon. I mean, there's plenty of opportunities. I'm guessing both the Dodo and the Moai will spawn. And if I can find the Moa, that would be great too. The Moa is another star level discovery. I can't remember where the Moa is. Can someone look that up for me? I know about the Moai, but I can't remember where the Moa is. No Bunga's Ambition. No, I didn't. Panama, we'll grab the, the romance games are highly recommended. Okay, check those out. My list of games is starting to get pretty long. Yep. Great. 
Moa's around Australia. Ah, that's right. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank you. I bet that one will spawn as well. One days, yep. Yeah. yeah, no, it, 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 I remember it. It's that general area. I just can't remember. I couldn't remember where exactly it was. Yeah, I've got it here on my map now. I just couldn't remember exactly where it was. But yeah, it's on the eastern tip of New Zealand. And then you go straight east to find the Moai on that island. Marlindo. Yeah, and this run will give me the money I need to get through the game, so now I can actually do a complete run. It's just getting it started. They basically do a, t a circumnavigation of the world. Which I can do in my sleep. Yeah, once I make this first run and sell all these discoveries and cartography, money will never become a problem again. I just, I'm pissed I lost time because of the La Real search. Hello? Then there's a village up here. Okay. Let's check my sextant because I think I'm getting close. 8 south, 86 west. Okay, it's definitely around here. Okay. I think that's I think that's it here. I think Usually there's a village that spawns here, so I think this is it. There it is. Awesome. Okay. Now, should I head back? Yeah, I'm gonna head back. Because I'll come and grab this stuff another time. And I'm running low on money. I could have checked for one more. Well, no, but then I would have started. The problem is, you're like, I'll check for one more. Well, then I'll check for one more. Well, then I'll check for one more. And then you just start running on this, this treadmill. At some point, you've got to make a stop and just carry on with the game. Because, again, by carrying on with the game, it gives you, you know, it gives you what you need to... You're gonna have to, you may have to come back here anyway. And if you need to make a world tour, you make a world tour, get all your fame, and then go win the game. And now, can I get back? I'd love to be able to get back and not have to make a stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly, just one more village, just one more village, just one more village. I think I can make it. Yeah, I can make it. I can make it. No problem. I can beat this game in under three and a half hours. Heck, I'm, I'm convinced if you get the right splits, you can beat this game in under three hours. That's the goal. But sub 330 is, is the first goal, because that would be a new world record.
Espresso, very good. stop off real fast and trigger this next thing. Look at the medallion. Sure. Yep. Indeed. Well, let's go. You just stop off, trigger that. Now I'll drop off all my discoveries, meet Joao. And we're rocking. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go drop, I'm gonna go to Mercator first. Mercator first. Oh, I just realized I didn't have to make that stop. Because I could have just entered the harbor here and entered the harbor here in Amsterdam. Now we got money. Just made a quick note. I will be. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, now. I'm gonna run and grab my coffee real quick. So right now I'm just gonna auto sail to Lisbon. I'm just doing this real quick so I don't run into pirates, hang on. One of the few times auto sail is useful. And I can send a text to the lady, make sure she's okay. They're open at all hours of the night for whatever reason. All right. I think you have to get around 10,000 fame to get this next thing. I did. All right, very good. Ah, you discovered the iguana. This will be enough. I didn't get any star level discoveries, but that's okay. Okay, great. The Leon Penguin, named after Leon Franco, perhaps. Vampire Bat. Ah, you discovered the Vampire Bat. And Lake Titicaca. Okay, good. That should be enough. Hopefully that's enough. Nope. Damn. Maybe you have to leave Lisbon. Oh, 
hopefully this will be enough. Shit. Uh Because the next thing to do is meet Joao. Uh, okay. Looks like it's Amazon River time. Damn. Alright, no big deal. Looks like I'm doing the Amazon now. Where the RNG messes with you. But again, if the staff map is close, then I just easily do a trip around the world and it's no big deal. It's like I'm only losing a couple minutes by exploring the Amazon. So it's really not a big deal. And again, I was going to have to come do this anyway. Oh, that's not good. Not off to a good start. My anaconda don't want none of... Never mind. I probably could have done the Nile. I just don't like doing those ones because they just don't pay a lot. So that could have just been a waste. And I have to go down that way anyway for part of the story, or near that way for part of the story anyway. This is going to be a good haul. But, I, you know, I don't think I would have been able to come here. I don't think I would have been able to do this on this first trip because I would have just ran out of money. I think. But it might have been worth it to try to save a couple of minutes, but then the run would have been dead. Cultural artifact, I love those. The balsa ship, very good. I think I get attacked here too. Like, this is why you got to get the La Real too, because you can also move super fast. Something down here. Yep. Yeah, this was a good haul. 
But yeah, there's no way I'd have been able to get all these villages. Tarantula? How does the tarantula not bite you? workout today. We're putting this new MacBook Pro to the test. This new M1 MacBook Pro to the test. Because I'm giving it a workout today. It's doing a lot better than my old computer did. I'll tell you that, though. Wow. That's a good one. Well, money's really not going to be a problem now. And this fame that I'm getting is... is... Wow. I forgot. I forgot about this one. Is this a star level discovery? Oh, or is this the... That's the Archipateryx. Okay, it was there. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then this one was the gold frog at the spawns. Nope. Okay. God, I hope I can make it back. I'm probably going to have to stop at a village. Well, actually, let's see how much food I lose on a day. I might be able to go right back to Lisbon. Oh, I only lose one a day? Yeah, I'll go right back to Lisbon. And I'll just refill on everything there. Oh, did you really? That's cool, Hyper Kaiju. I've thought... I, I, I built a PC once, but then I just became a Mac person. And I just... I like Macs so much more for just... Not only my day-to-day -day life, but just for everything that I that I do. It just for me everything works better on a Mac, but that's just that's just a personal preference. Okay, back to Lisbon. Man, this should trigger as well. If it doesn't, then the run's really dead. We'll get, we'll deal with it in just a little bit. Don't worry about it. Seven discoveries, that's pretty good. I don't think I was gonna get that many. Amazon is usually a gold mine. Yeah, I got seven discoveries, that's pretty good. Five thousand gold pieces for losing nine sailors. Okay. All right. Awesome. Now this should trigger. 
There we go. Okay. Great. There is Joao. What a coincidence. Wow, Franco House asking you for a favor. Hmm. All right. We'll get it within two hours. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Ah, that's why they're those damn Turks. Okay. Awesome. Sure. All right, let's go to the cafe. Cause I definitely need some crew. Hello, yes. Yes. Perfect, that's all I need. Well, it's not all I need, but it'll work. When I stop at a port, I'll pick up a couple more, just to say that I did. That's fine. All right, now I'll just go get the staff. Now here's where, I, again, I'll just do a bunch more discovering along the way. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. And now I got enough money to last the game, so I'm good. All right. Oh, let's go. And poor ship sailing, sailing so slowly. Yeah, if you want to speed run this game, you definitely have to have a good handle on how to manipulate the RNG. Well, it's not really manipulating the RNG. It's more of just being aware of the RNG. Another storm. Wow. Ooh, this is like four already? Abidjan and San Jorge. Would it be San George? I think I think it's San Jorge, isn't it? I don't know, Hot Set. I don't know if you can manipulate the RNG in this game. I really don't. Is there something over here? No. There's potentially something up here. And there's a port up here, too. There's a village potentially in a port. Timbuktu. Actually exists. Ruins of an ancient civilization. I, I, I don't know. I, th I really think that the spawns are just random. I really do. I don't think there's a set like if you get, I see what you're saying. Like, okay, it's, you know, if you get this combination of villages, then this happens. I, I get what you're saying. I, I don't know, honestly.
Even if you really wanted, you could memorize like where every village in the game was. Right. Ah, uh, that's a good point. That's gonna be a good one. Damn. The Muckle Mumba whatever. The something. But it's a good discovery. So I'm happy. Natural wonder. Moonbow! Yeah, when I stop in Aiden or wherever I stop, I'll pick up some more crew. Exotic animal, the quagga. Okay, now I should be a phosphorescent light around here somewhere. Which I'll just get out of the way. Oh, shit, pirates! I just realized that's pirates. I better run. Oh, boys, they're going to be chasing me for the rest of the game. That was nearly catastrophic. Guess the phosphorescent life saved my life that time. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Big Zimbabwe, as opposed to Little Zimbabwe. Alright, how are we doing? How are we doing? Okay. I think I can make it to Aiden. Because I definitely want to go look for the... I can't remember if there's a village up there. No, I don't think so. If I get a little extra fame in cartography, that's fine. There's Mozambique. Now let's go over here, do this little loop de loop. Rats on board. Oof. Okay, I'll have to stop the supply port. I really don't want to do that, but I will. Clear these rats first. Wow, the dodo did not spawn. That's surprising. I am surprised that the dodo did not spawn. It usually spawns. Wow. Okay. Then I have. To, it's got to be both the moa and the moai then have to spawn. They have to. I mean, otherwise, you're just not going to have enough to win the game. I would think. Mombasa. Oh, that's kind of cool, Scholar. With the with that new game, that sounds kind of cool. Mogadishu. Okay, we'll 
I'll stop here in Aiden. Oh, did I just miss the cafe? I think I might have just missed it. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, we're good. Jaffa. Okay, great. And I know where that is. So it gives you some random port back in Iberia. Forty-two men. Oh wow! I didn't realize Aiden was such a good port. I mean, I'm happy to have him, but wow. Well, well, cool. All right, let's head back. We already got it. All right, let's go. Now, just to make life easier, let's head to the one. I'll just adjust it as we go. Where are you going? There you go. Thank you. If you're going back the way you came, you might as well just auto sail at least for a bit. Just gotta watch out for those pirates. I'm trying to decide if it's worth it to sell your discoveries. I mean, there's really no point. I've got enough money. I guess it couldn't hurt to get a little more. Just trying to decide. I mean, I should be fine. I should be fine. Should have enough money to last really the rest of the game. You don't spend a whole lot in this. And if I need some, I can make a quick run back. Well, you know, I might have to anyway, because if I don't know, if I don't recognize where the, um, if I don't recognize where the, where they're sending me, on the quest for the map for the staff beside them. We have to go back to London or go back to Europe anyway. If you ever see that ship and you're not doing any fighting, run. And I'll pick up some balm in Goa when I drop off the map. give you some port, some random port in the Ottoman Empire that you have to go back to. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. And yeah, now this part where the game slows down because too many sprites on the screen. Uh -huh. Shouldn't be any pirates here, but
None that'll attack you anyway. There's Tunis. None of the stuff I care about. Okay, now I believe Jaffa is Candia, yeah. I'll check it out. I believe Jaffa's over here. I'll check for the Rosetta Stone. I do want to snake Cairo though. Yeah. Okay, now Jaff is over here, I believe. There it is. Jaffa. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Wow, that's kind of cool. Wow. I am. People of Masala. Okay. Qatar. All right. can do. The other reason that I don't like going down the Nile is because if pirates show up, then you're screwed. And I mean, those discoveries don't really help you that much. That has happened to me before as I've done this. That pirates have attacked me going down the Nile and then I was screwed and I had to start over. So not really worth it in my opinion. Not when there's so much else of the world to discover. So I just I just don't think the Nile stuff is worth it. Especially if pirates attack you. Because it's so narrow that... And it's close enough to their home base that they'll, they'll attack you and it's annoying. Hopefully I know or can recognize where the map is. For the uh, staff of Poseidon. <laughs> Watch it be in the Nile River. <laughs> how how crazy would that be? No problem. How many bombs do I have? Well, I got four left. Okay. True, you can bypass you can bypass the pirates at night. That's true, illiterate scholar. The only thing I don't like about that is then they start chasing you for the rest of the game. And I just, I don't want, want to have to deal with that. So that's just me. where the pirates are camping. Okay. But yeah, greeting parts. Yeah, if, if you happen to go over top of a pirate at night, or you land on the same... Because if you land on the same square as them at night, they start chasing you for the rest of the game. And just following you until they catch you. It's, 
it's really annoying. I don't know if they ever, when they let, when they let up, if they eventually just give up. I don't know how that works. That part of the RNG, I don't know. Okay, off to Qatar. Maybe. Use cat. Or moose. Or should be right here somewhere. Shiraz. There's Qatar. Oh, shoot. Forgot to come here at night. Whoops. Yeah, we will. Sounds good. Well, that's easy. All right, awesome. All right, let's see if I know if I let's see. Oops, let's see if I can find out where it is. Map of staff. Let's see if I can see where it is. Hmm. I don't know. It's pretty vague. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay. So a lot of you are saying it looks like North America. Okay. Actually, let's get going here. And three, two, one, go. Okay. Some of you are saying it looks like it's North America. I think what I'm going to do, since it is North America, it looks like it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and complete my world tour. Since I'm in this part of the world anyway, and you need this fame anyway. I'm going to go ahead and complete my world tour. Because you need to do it anyway. Yeah, it spawns at the place of a village. wonder. Burning water. Yeah, I've got the... I think you're right, Hot Scent, and I didn't know that until I started doing, playing through this game, but I think, I think that sounds correct. Yeah, I'll go ahead and complete my world tour now. Dew. Oh, that could be Hudson. It could be the passenger pigeon location. That's true. Well, the good thing is I don't mind completing my world tour now because to get back to North America is easy. Mojeno Dado or whatever. Great. Because it'll only take me about half an hour to complete my world tour. And you have to do it anyway. Might as well do it while I'm here. animal. King Cobra. There's Goa. I'm going to stop and get some balm. Yeah, that could be too. So that's why I'm going to do my world tour now. Since I'm here and I just don't know. I drop everything off, figure out where it is. And, and then that way I can also know that if I need to get more fame and adventure, I can do that. I can plan for that. Okay, that should be enough. This music's really cool, too. The music in this game is just so good. I, I think the music in this game is, is, is ahead of its time. That's just me. Coaching. All right. There's Celion. Camila, you weren't paying attention, you bastard. Let's head up this way. Sometimes there's a village up here. Let's go take a look. Oh. 
I think it's right over here is where the village sometimes spawns. Yeah, so right over here. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Uh, I mean, to me, one of the greatest soundtracks of all time is still Final Fantasy VI. Ones of an ancient civilization. Very good. Atayada's Buddha. Yeah, to me, Final Fantasy VI is the ultimate. Uh, soundtrack. For Super Nintendo. Celeste's theme just gets me every single time. It's just so powerful. Of a theme. I think, anyway. An exotic animal. Could also be South America as well, yeah. There's Psy. All right, good. Now go this way. Malacca. The part, this part is tricky because it's very easy to miss stuff here because it's just so, there's so much to do here. Sometimes there's a village that spawns there. Sunda. Sometimes there's a village that spawns over there. Um, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go up and do Japan. I'll go up and do Japan in that area and then come back down. Then just got Australia and go. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is where it gets tough to decide what to do. Because there's just so much to discover down here. Back to Banda, go north. Get all these villages. I got all these towns. Well, they're not really towns, they're, most, they're really ports. Amboa. Turn it. This can get kind of confusing sometimes. Like, you can get turned around pretty quickly in this game. Sometimes there's a village over there I gotta go check. I mean, I don't, maybe that's just me. It just sometimes I think it's easy to get turned around in this game. 
if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, let's head up this way. It definitely supports up here. Here we go. Cow. What are we doing? Oof, I need to stop reason. There's a couple potentially over here. There's a village. Northern Canada confuses you. What about it is confusing? Yeah, I don't like exploring there either. It's very few and far between to find anything there. I see what you're saying. Kalavinka. There's Hanoi. I need to stop here and get some crew anyways. Yeah, all the islands for sure. I agree. Some of my favorite music in the game is the is the Far East, the middle the uh the Far East music. Oops. Totally fine. That's all I need. If I can get enough fame to win the game, this all may go really fast. Once I drop off the staff. All right. We're doing good. We're doing really good. There's Saiton. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I've always thought it was Zaiton. All right, so go up here. And head down the Yellow River, maybe. There's Lucian. Great discoveries down here in the Yellow River. Yeah, I saw uh, the, the world record holder has got an interesting strategy for Ernst. It's basically get everything around the world in one fell swoop and hope that you have enough to win the game. Which actually kind of makes sense. And just drop off everything and map out the world in one fell swoop and hope it's enough to win the game. Actually, is a good strategy. I know this is not a star level discovery, so this should be it. There we go. Should be the Great Wall. Oh no! Oh, uh, Kin Ling. That's right. Wow, only the one village. It's surprising. Again, I really think both the Moa and the Moai are going to spawn. 
They have to. Otherwise, I just don't think you're going to have enough fame to win the game. Okay. This was Lucian. There's a village down there. Okay, let's go down to Japan. Let's get Nagasaki. Actually, I'm gonna go, before I do that, I'm gonna go check up here real quick. Sometimes there's a village that spawns up here. Well, there's Sakai. Okay, well, I'll get there and I'll get there eventually. There's a village, yeah. I knew there was one that spawned up here. Wait, what? Oh, there was, oh, it spawned down there. And there's a supply port, so I'll go get that. Now I'll come back, yeah, I'll come back down. That's fine. I actually don't need to stop in Sakai. Which is good. Thank you for doing your job. Okay, now there was a village around here. Where was it? that village? It spawned. I know it did. Oh, there it is. I was like, I was about to have a heart attack. I was like, did I miss something? There we go. Okay, great. Now that's all we can do here. So now I'm going to go south. And now we're going to go hit up Australia. There's Guam, Supply Port. I have to go directly to the southwest. Sometimes there's a village around here. Let's see if it spawns. Nope, doesn't look like it. And actually, there's a village that spawns over here, so let's go take a look. And these islands over here sometimes, I think. Yep. Thought there was. Looks like this is going to be a good one, too. That's good. I like it. Cool. And then uh, there's a supply port. Just down to the southwest, and I'll stop there. be a good one. It's not a star level discovery, but it's a good one. Gotta love those cultural artifacts. The Indo-Pacific Indo Cowie. I, I don't know if I've ever discovered that one. Cool. I think that's a brand new discovery for me. I've never discovered that one before. Awesome. Well, that's fun. I like that. Okay, now down this way. Ah, Moresby, that's where I need to stop. Load up. And then we'll discover Australia, the rest of South America, drop everything off, and figure out where the heck the Staff of Poseidon is. Let's 
Australia and New Zealand and then we'll start heading over. Yeah, sometimes there's not something that spawns down there. Olivec? Triple H? Maybe. Perhaps the greatest heel of all time in professional wrestling? Triple H? Some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you have no idea, and that's okay. Okay, I remember this was a good one. entertain this one to at least 40, I think. Just double checking. Frilled lizard. That is a good one. Like I said, I'm okay doing this world tour now to just get it out of the way, because then now I can then I can just boom, 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 go where I need to go. There's G Long. We'll get there at some point. Got to check for the village first. Well, actually, we'll stop. I need to I need to load up because I'm about to hopefully get a couple of star level discoveries. Hopefully, get some star level discoveries. There's usually a good one that's, if there's one, if there's one that spawns up here. Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna spawn. Okay, so let's head east. Just double check my map. Yeah, I would've caught it. Head over here to New Zealand. port down here. Wanganui! Love that name. Okay, now let's see if the MOA spawns. It should. It didn't spawn. Wow, that is surprising. Okay, now I'm concerned if I'm even going to have enough to win the game. Moa did not spawn. That's crazy to me. Well, I know the Moa should spawn then. Yeah, that's really strange. The Moai didn't spawn either. Okay, now we have a problem. 
Okay, what I'm gonna need, what I'm gonna need to do now is go up, knock out all these villages up here. That is very concerning. I guess I pfft, I don't know at this point. I mean, you can because there's a number of other villages that you can find and you can just sail around the world to get fame in cartography. I'm just shocked that those star level discoveries did spawn. Has any star level in this run? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'll just knock out all these here. Head back. Yeah, because there's a supply port up here. there's a village up here. There it is. This is just incredibly surprising. The Moa didn't spawn the Moa. I, I, I got the Mammoth, yeah, but I didn't get the Dodo. I didn't get the Giant Ground Sloth. I didn't get the Sabertooth Tiger. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough fame to win the game. We'll see. It's going to be close, though. I think, anyway. And of course, I could just get him, and it'll just go boom, 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 and we win. You never know. There's RNG messing with me again. Unless I did something wrong, but I don't think I did anything wrong to not get those things to spawn. We'll see. I guess we're just getting all the the game would not spawn... Here's the thing, too. Like, the game would not spawn enough to not let you win the game. Like, that RNG has to be there. And again, if I need to make a loop around Japan or something like that, I can do that. I think it's 48 villages spawn it. No, no, I think it's 50 actually. 50 villages spawn out of a possible 98, I believe. Oh, how many star level discoveries? Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what the percentage of that is. I don't know. But I am getting, maybe it's making up for it for, because I haven't got a lot of A-level discoveries. No, the Dodo, the Dodo didn't spawn. If you remember, the Dodo didn't spawn. The only star levels discovery that spawned so far is the, the Mammoth. So maybe it's just making up for it for spawn, by spawning a number of A-level discoveries, because I've gotten a lot of those. Maybe that's what it's doing. Because I would have to think... I would have to think that it would give you enough to win the game. I mean, it has to.
I mean, it's possible. But like I said, I feel like I'm getting a good number of A-level discoveries. High-level A-level discoveries. Is this the black water? No. Popol Vuh. Guatemala. Indeed, this will be an interesting one. Well said. R in Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I've never heard that before. R in Jesus. That's funny. Slime in these cultural artifacts, though. Merle of Maracaino, whatever that was. Okay, now this is interesting here. Because I believe if I go west, there's an island out here. Potentially a village out here. Yep, there it is. But I remember this being a good one. This is very true. I'll have to stop with the supply port coming up. animal. The giant tortoise. How did you not find the, the giant tortoise is so slow. How did you not find it? It's kind of weird. Oh well. All right. And there's the supply port. Okay. Okay. Well, that's enough of this. Now I'm going to head back, sell all my discoveries, find out where this thing is and then just carry on and we'll see how much fame and adventure I have by that point I gotta think I'm in good shape though I mean I'm only two hours into the run and I've already done a world tour so uh, hopefully it's just bang 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 go to the end of the game so I think I'm in good shape wait did I I caught this village didn't I Yeah, okay, I thought so. I don't know, for some reason I thought I hadn't caught a village. Okay. But yeah, I'm only two hours into the run. I really think I'm in good shape. Because once once you get the 40,000 fame in the adventure, this it's just bang, bang, bang to the end of the game. And I can knock the end of the game out in 20 minutes. If that. So hopefully I'll have enough. If I have to go around Japan, I have to go around Japan. It's not a big deal. And head back to Lisbon. I hope so, Scholar. Thank you. So drop off discoveries. Figure out where the heck this thing is. And then go right to it.
go. Back here in Africa. in this port here. All right, cool. It'll be fun. Curious to see how far my fame and adventure jumps. This will be funny, actually. Whoa, pirates! Yikes! That was nearly bad. I hope five of the discoveries that I did that had spawned in this game weren't in the Nile. That would suck. Okay, this should be funny, a fun experiment. 18,000 fame currently. Let's see how much fame I have after selling all this. <laughs> this should be funny. How many pages of discoveries do I have? Five pages of discoveries. No, money will now not not really money will not really be a problem now. It's gonna take me five minutes just to drop off all these discoveries. Um, also, for those of you that are watching, once I get the once I get the coordinates, would y'all look up to see which part of the world that is? I think I know. Well, once we get the coordinates, we'll see for the map. For the staff of Poseidon. Yeah, I'm dropping off like 23 discoveries. This is crazy. Australia, okay. If it's if it's Australia, that will be a problem. If it's North America, it's fantastic. See how my fame's doing. 28,000, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna be just sh short. If I can get 7,000 fame and adventure from Mercator, that's gonna be awesome. Because then I can just go boom, 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 and win the game. Okay, let's 
Let's get our coordinates. And I actually, yeah, I don't even mind paying the two just to save a few seconds. Because I have so much money right now, it's ridiculous. All right, let's see what we got. Locate. I do. 35 South, 145 East. That's, that's Australia, isn't it? Let's see. Please give me 35. Please give me 35. Nope. I'm going to be short. Damn. Okay. What's going to be the best way to do this? Looks like I need to get to Australia. Probably just go directly there, get it. Well, let's see. Should I go to Japan? You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go up through down through Japan, get it there, drop it off, and that should be enough to win the game. If I go up this way, drop it off, come back to Lisbon, because there's some there's some discoveries you can find up here. That's what I'm gonna do. Because then once I get down through Japan, I just go straight south. to do this very carefully here. Yeah, you have to you have to be able to call audibles in this game. Now, speaking of calling audibles, I'm going to go this way, because sometimes a village spawns up here. And I have enough. Sometimes it spawns along up here. the stellar, st stellar sea cow spawns. That would be helpful. Tixie. How am I doing? I better stop, just in case. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'll check that out. You know what? I think I know exactly. I'm just looking at my map here. I think I know exactly where that map of Medallion is. Maybe if you think you know... Maybe if you think you know where it is, you should just go check it out. If something doesn't spawn, that would have saved me. Well, here's the thing though. It wouldn't really matter because I have to do this route anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing things slightly out of order. Okay, sometimes stellar, stellar sea cows, I think. Yep. 
curiosity. How many discoveries do I have? Yep. I've gotten 42 discoveries already. There's Gnome. Okay, now we go down. Go over this way. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, I got an idea, I got an idea. Where's Gnome? Where was, shoot, where was Gnome? Did I just pass it? No, okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. Now I go straight south. There's a supply port down here, straight south of Gnome. They're pretty close to straight south. Go straight south, supply there, go straight southwest. Should be anyway. Lihu. Sounds like a uh, Hawaiian port. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. Drop it off in Massawa. Okay, I still think I'm okay. I still think I'm on world record pace. World record is three and a half hours. I still think I'm on world record pace. down when it died down completely no problem again if you, don't, if you don't have this is another reason why I need a lot of real so you have ores it's 35 south 145 east that's that part in southeastern Australia is that correct just east of where the moa would spawn or west of where the moa would spawn I believe can someone check that for me but I think that's right. Sometimes there's something around here. I think there's something just like to the east, but that's fine. I'm not worried. In that case, I know where it is. Yeah, okay, I think I see it by a single tree. Okay, let's use my sextant here. A little further south. I think this is it right here. Got it. Now let's take it to Massawa. Fastest way to get there. No, it's, it's, it's okay, Hapson. I've paused in my runs before, and they said it was fine. Because my pauses, I didn't... 
um, I didn't continue playing. Like it was for a bathroom break. I paused the timer and then I just restarted the timer. I didn't look up any information. It was just a bathroom break. And I've paused before in my runs and it was fine. Like the Joao run has a few pauses in it because I had to go to the bathroom. So, but I, I will say I never had a problem, but I could, I could see how they may consider it an issue, but I don't think it'll be an issue for me. So yeah, if you go back and watch my Joao run. Okay, now just directly to the Northwest, right over to Massawa. for doing your job. Correct. Uh, correct, Scholar. The The whole thing now is if it's going to be sub three. Real champs. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's switch my map. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. Oh, for sure. No, because it could be allied by Turkey. No, it's not. Okay, great. Okay, this should give me... When you drop this off, I think you get 5,000 fame and adventure. So if I drop this off at Merc Mercator, I should be good to go. All right, very good. Yeah, I've seen you get 5,000 fame and adventure. Awesome. All right, let's head back to Mercator, drop off the rest of my fame, and I should have enough to win the game. The 40,000. First, let's go up here and do a little more discovering. There's Mecca. Sometimes there's a village up here. I thought I should not that it really matters. Oh, there is. It spawned. Okay, great. One more village for a good measure. Just in case. Hey. Ugh. Fine. As long as I can still go to 20, I don't care. Great. Yeah, then going further up gets you to Cairo, which I don't, which I've already done. G diapers by G fuel. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I can e I could even save time for sure by um, I could save time by getting a better La Real, getting a little bit better RNG. But I, if I can get a sub three, I'll be pretty happy. Which I think if depends on what happens with Mercator. I think a sub three is possible at this point because once I turn in my once I get 40,000 fame, the rest of the game goes pretty quickly. It's just 
Sakai, Nagasaki, Cayenne, there's one more trip around the world, and then you win. I didn't think I was gonna do a I didn't think I was gonna do a world run attempt this morning, but here we are. Got four left. It should be enough. I'm gonna turn in my Mercator first, because I think that's gonna be enough. Oh! And not worry about turning in that Discovery. Because I just don't think I'm gonna need it. But I have it on standby just in case. To get to 40,000. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna do a world record attempt this morning, but I might set a world record today. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to Rector at the track. Mercator's up at all hours of the night. What cartographer wouldn't be? That's more than enough. Thank you very much. Woo! Looks like it's just barely, but we got it. Can you enter the damn port, please? Yep! Woohoo! Let's go win the game, baby! Yes! I'm on track now! All right, let's do it. Yep. Let's go win the game. Actually, wait, no, it's it's probably faster to go this way. I forgot, it's faster to go this way. Back around to Japan yet again. I don't know if it's faster to go this way or the other way. I would assume to get to Japan from Europe, this way's fastest. Yeah, it's... I mean, I'm going... It's This is a new world record. Like, it's it's not a question of whether this is going to be a world record or not. Because I believe... Y'all can look this up on speedrun. But I think the world record's three and a half. I Now, it's just a question of whether I'm going to beat the game in under three hours. I think there's a real chance. It's We're going to be cutting it real close, but I think there's a real chance I can beat the game in under three hours. Oh yeah, good call. Going north avoids storms. Of course it does. That's exactly right. And with my reduced crew, I can sail for even more days. This is fantastic. No, Hyper Kaiju, this is the only game I've speedrun just because I know it so well. And not a lot of people speedrun it, so I feel like I have a good chance to do something special with it. Oh, okay. Supply port, don't care.
but yeah, I don't, I think it'd be, I think it'd be fun to do more speed running. I just don't. I don't know any other games as well as I know this one. And again, not a lot of people do it, so I'm just trying to basically fill a niche. My goal is eventually to hold all, eventually, and I don't know when this is going to happen, if this is going to happen, but my goal is to eventually hold all six world records. I held three for a little while, then somebody took back Ali, Deforestation Kelly took back Ali, which again, great, like I'm happy you always, I'm always happy when other people get records because I mean, people are playing the game and they're pushing us to get better. And Uncharted, New Hori Uncharted Waters New Horizons has, Uncharted Waters New Horizons has just such a small community, but it's a great community. It's a, it's a small community, but it's a very passionate community of people that love this game. So to be able to do something special with that, I think is kind of cool. I don't know, those of you that are watching this, I don't know if you agree with that. Illiterate and, and um, hops in. All right, let's head down to Japan. Yeah, that's true, Scholar. But I should be okay. If there's about 30 days is usually when rats start to happen. And if they only eat a little bit of my food, it's not a big deal. Because I'm getting just Sakai, Nagasaki, Cayenne, home. Camille didn't do his job. Yeah, that's a good question, Kaiju. What games would you like to run? Well, we're going to stop right now and take care of that rat problem. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Um, that's a great question, uh, Hot. Why I chose to stream on YouTube just because I have a much bigger audience here. Like, I have 4,000 subscribers, 4,400 subscribers on YouTube, and I have like 20 on Twitch. So it's easier for me to get an audience here. And there's Ernest von Bohr, very good. We are. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. South America. I, I guess I, I suppose I could, if I did restream. I suppose.
Yeah, I understand. Listen, if you beat him a ton of times, I mean, I would just watch the speed running runs and see if there's ways you can improve it. Like, I really don't know. Right. Well, and, and Hot, this is, uh, I actually have a chance for monetization here on YouTube. Because one, just because I have a bigger audience here through um, Super Chats, PayPal donations, Cash App donations, which you can find all in the app or, or in the uh, video description. So, again, I just, I just feel like I have a better chance for monetization and for my audience here on YouTube because that's where I'm just known. And, and everything that I've read online, it's a lot easier to, uh, you should just stream where your, where your audience is, you know? So that, that to me just makes the most sense, just stream where your audience is. And I get, you know, and on these videos, I get people watching and I have ads and, and stuff. So I just make more money streaming on YouTube. And believe me, it's not enough. Like I'm not a full-time streamer or a full-time Let's Player or anything like that. This is just a side thing I do. This is just something I do on the side for fun. It's just a hobby. It'd be cool to be able to do it enough to It'd be cool to be able to do it full time, but I just there are you know, I just don't have the time really or the like because my professional career is is pretty intense. So uh, you know I just I just do this when I have some breaks, when I have fun, and yeah, it's just a little fun little hobby on the side. And if I make a few extra bucks every month, great. sub three. Raul Franco? Duke Franco? Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. What did you see? El Dorado! He found it! Very cool. Oh, wow. Gotcha. Indeed. <sighs> oh, dear. World domination. They're like Pinky in the Brain. They're going to take over the world. Ah, Lisbon. Rocco. Leon. Wow. Wow. That's got to be it. Let's go. Yeah, we draw a map. Let's go.
Probably don't need to resupply, but I will just in case. Just in case a disaster occurs, I don't think I'll need it, but... Yeah, I, I under, yeah, for sure, Hyper Kaiju. I got a Nintendo Switch too, and it just doesn't have the the games that um, I wish it did. But yeah, such is life. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a new world record by at least uh, it's probably going to be about forty five minutes. Pretty cool. It's definitely going to be around 250. It's going to be just over 240, I think. Spam that B button. Let's see if I can do a sub 240. That'd be incredible. It's going to be close. A sub 240 is going to be close. Yep. Okay. Sure. On. Talk faster. Talk faster, you goofs. Sounds good. Here it goes. And time. 231.21. <laughs> That's a new world record by almost an hour. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's great. New world record by about, yeah, by a little, by over, by about an hour. That's awesome. <laughs> that's great. I didn't even think I was going to run, get a full run in today, but I did. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we'll get it verified by the community, but yeah. There it is. Thank you very much, everybody, for the congratulations and for the GGs and all that stuff. I, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, illiterate. Thank you, illiterate scholar, for all of your help and for your, um, for all your help along the way. Uh, it's just terrific. Everybody, your support is just incredible, and I and I appreciate it so much. The run started rough too. I. I I think if I get some good RNG, this game can be beaten in under two and a half hours. I really do. But the RNG has to line up perfectly. And I, I my question is, is it worth it to try to run it again for to get a better... I mean, I'm definitely going to submit this. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely going to submit this run. Indeed. So I just don't know. It's, you know, is it worth it? I mean, I'm definitely going to submit it. I just don't know if it, is it worth it to try to get better RNG. I guess at this point, if you don't get a good start, there's no point. There's no point in really. Um, there's no point in really continuing if you get if, if you don't get a lot if you don't get a la real to start you know there's really no point yeah right hype yeah right now i'm definitely done streaming for the day but oh this is awesome this is great thank you all so much for your support i really really appreciate it this has been terrific uh yeah i'm gonna edit this video Get, definitely get it uploaded and we should be good to go but thank you all so much for your support and for the ggs and for being with me on this journey it's absolutely terrific and i've had such a good time i may do another i may tr i may try to run it one more time either tomorrow or thursday we'll see uh, i'm definitely going to save this as an attempt 
Yeah, I've been streaming for almost five hours. It's crazy. But, all right, everybody. Well, I'm getting ready to wrap up for the day, but thank you so, so much for all of your help and all of your support for this new world record. It's just terrific. And I will definitely be doing this again. I'll try to get another stream in either tomorrow or, or Thursday. Um, but again, all is really great. So thank you all so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Getting ready to sign off, but uh, thanks again. This is great. Until the next time we meet, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bcsbuster. Check out all the ways you can support the channel in the video description below. There's ways to donate. There's ways to use promo codes to help save you money that help me grow my channel as well. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. Thanks again, everybody. This is awesome. Yes, Hopped, I'm glad, glad you're able to be here as well. Uncharted Waters New Horizons. There you go. See you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you.